Hello and welcome back to episode 31 of our Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke with me, Mr. Shinx3. Let's get on with it. We are in Route 15, I believe. Is that right? Oh. Route 15. Come on. There we go. Alright, okay. Route 15, um, which I can only assume... Um, will give us a new encounter. Obviously, we're going to be on the water, so we've got Jelin at the front. Which we'll go with. We'll stick with that, because that should get us through nice and quickly. I've got one of them, so that's that. Um, so hopefully, we do find a new encounter. If not, a bit of a shame. Um, I want to try and get through this route quickly for this episode, because... Uh, over here in England, I don't know where you're watching this from, but here in England, it is Father's Day, and being a father, I would like to spend as much time as possible with my daughter, and uh, that's that, basically. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll have seen the little presents I've got. Drain Punch. That's a really good move. I got a new um, plush toy from the official Pokemon Center in Japan. I got... What was it? Come on. Drain Punch. I got... Rowlet. He's lovely. Lovely. Right, Bariette. If this is the Drain Punch of 6th Gen, 7th Gen, it'll be a really good move. Yes, I think it is. Look at that. Power 75. And restores our health by half the damage taken. So, yeah, it's less PP, but overall, a much better move. So let's do that. Brick Break used to be my favourite uh, fighting type move. Because it was... It didn't have any like repercussions, negative repercussions... Stats wise, it was high accuracy move. You could always depend on it. And then Drain Punch got. Ooh! Drain Punch got rebuffed. And it's better. I like it. Do you want to go for the Energy Ball or the Thunderbolt? Let's go for the Thunderbolt. Do the brain face. Bigger drain. Hopefully that should kill it and I should get a little bit back. Okay, good, good, good. And I went on a Pokemon walk yesterday with my friend Ash. Oh, a blue blue a blue a blue, a blue, a blue rock. If that's the frog, that's gonna be a poison type, isn't it? So I don't want to be against the poison type with my grass type. So we'll switch to Electroxel. Anyway, went on a Pokemon walk with my friend Ash. We went to game and, oh, that's cool. And I got a Pokemon t-shirt. Pikachu. Pikachu. Love it. I already have a Mew and I bought a Pikachu and I bought a Snorlax and I caught the sun a little bit, which is unusual in England. It's uh, been a nice, nice weekend. Especially where I am, it's um, I'm in the north of England, which is closer to Scotland than it is to London, and it's more often than not cold. But if I'm oh, cursory. So if that's rock, water, I want to use a grass move. I'm actually the kind of guy that prefers winter than summer. Because I like the excuse to stay in the house and shiny hunt, rather than thinking the nice day I should probably go outside and uh, do social things in the sun. And really all I want to do is watch a movie and play on my Pokemon games. <laughs> because that's who I am. What I do. 
Magikarp jump telling me I have training 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 things maxed out. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But I do like Magikarp jump. It's a good game. If you've got the HM dive, you can explore the sea floor. That's great. But I do not have the HM dive. So I cannot explore the sea floor. But that is cool. I feel like I've seen this before, but I haven't at the same time. Is this just an evolution of a Pokemon I have seen before? Part of me is telling me it's water and ice. I feel I've seen its evolution, its pre-evolution, and it was water and ice. Critical hit. That's fine. Bum bum bum. Gyarados. Be able to deal with that with a thunderbolt. I have my red Gyarados on the Pokemon Go, and I am dying for them to bring out more shinies. Because I now have, if you follow my Twitter, you'll know that I have a red Gyarados and two more golden Magikarp. I'll keep one, and then when they bring out trading and more shinies, I will trade one for someone else who has a shiny. Okay, look at that. See, I don't often use Jelin. But when I do, I purely use Jelly. He's perfect for the water. Surfing about, there is no one better than our friend Jelly. Tuba real. Let's. I'm pretty sure that's a fire, a dark type. So if we use our new drain punch, that should be good. Watch it not be a dark type now. No, it is a dark type, so that's fine. Er, that did more than I was hoping it would, so that's not cool. Yeah, if he'd have outsped me, I would have got pretty much all of that back. Moxie. If you see bubbles underneath you, it means there's a Pokemon down there. Oh, really? That's a bit like um, Sun and Moon when you see the ripples on the, on the um, when you can fish. And I'm loving that game. I'm playing through it. I'm on the third island now. And my Rowlet is now a Decidueye. My um, Poplio is now a Primarina. And I have a shiny Alolan Marowak um, that I really wanted. So I uh, did that SOS call in for a Cubone. And I did the same for Grubbin. I thought if I play through the game with two full odds shiny starters, and then my, my favourite 7th gen shiny fire type, my favourite 7th gen shiny electric type, and my favourite 7th gen shiny dragon type, because they're my three, my, they're my three favourite types of Pokemon. Um, so I'll get Zhang Mao when I can. I'll SOS for that later on in the game. Route 13, North Turlard. That's fine. Okay. Cool. So we should be able to dive over there later on. Right. Okay, question. I haven't caught this Pokemon, but I have its pre evolution. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, I'm going to stick with its 
it's, the, it's in the evolution line, so it doesn't count. But I am kind of hoping that there's more Pokemon for me to find. Although maybe not a water type. Maybe this, if there's some grass somewhere, that'd be great. Because I, I, water Pokemon isn't a type that I am in need of. But a Super Rod might help us out. Might be something a little bit more rare and valuable. What's going on in this house? Hello, old people. Oh, hello. See, respect your elders and your Pokemon will be healed. My wife is always kind to passing trainers. She bakes the best cookies too. Here, take one for the road. Thank you very much. And sir. Although I have to say my wife is a very, very good cook also. I'm not digging... Uh, I'm not. I'm not in trouble or anything. I'm not trying to be nice to her because she doesn't even watch this series. But she does cook very nice meals, and we have to cook from scratch in this house because I don't know if you know, but I'm allergic to milk. A thunderbolt in water. Um, don't think I'll have anything that wants to that can learn thunderbolt that hasn't already. But it's a very good move. Ooh, S51 can learn it. Boreat can learn it, but it's not a... Uh... Not, it's not. Not very good, specially attack-wise. And I even think that S51 is a, an attacker rather than a special attacker. If I'm honest. Well, let's get rid of Hidden Power, and you can have Thunderbolt for now. I may be wrong. Let me have a look. No, he's got better. He's got better special attack. But well, Thunderbolt's quite good. I like it. So if you come across some magic card, I'll send S51 in there. Oh, whoa, whoa, why am I doing a double battle? Why am I doing a double battle? This is not cool. You not look like the kind of guy who wanted to double battle. I am not impressed. Uh, let's get rid of Float Cell. Do I want to risk it with a fire type in here? I'm not sure I do. What do I do? do? Do I go into Electruxor? I'm tempted to go into S51, but if it gets double teamed, not the move double team, if it gets hit by both Pokemon, he's, uh, he's in trouble and we need the Steel types. I feel Steel is important. We could have stayed in with Pajay and done um, an Earth Slash, but neither here or there now. Oh, but I don't really know how to uh, take this guy down. I've, uh, I've not thought this through. I have not thought this through. Okay, maybe two Thunderbolts? It's not... Gonna be super effective. Mm. Oh, cool. Electroxor is apparently stronger than Jelly. S51 groups level 30 something? 5? I've got that new Selena Gomez song stuck in my head. That bad liar. Don't 
got the music channel on this morning whilst uh, I was giving Felicity her bottle. Da, 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 da. Not a bad song, actually. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. It's my last goal to be on the cover of Pokemon Illustrated Magazine. Good stuff. I may switch Electrox or Angelion about because Angelion is firing ahead level wise. So let's just let's share the love. Share the love. What? That's that's rude. I used Aqua Jet to uh, politely get rid of the other guy. Oh, that's that's just that's rude, brain away. Do it again. See, look at that. Cheeky, just cheeky. Whoa. Okay. No biggie, no harm done. La la la. No. Well, that's what I get for trying to uh, preserve my uh, thunderbolts. Rock is falling behind a little bit on 42. But our uh, trainer Pokemon here are at level 42, so we're not. We're around where we need to be. But I think if we get to the next gym anytime soon, I may need to do a little bit of leveling. Maybe just bring them all up to Jellion's level. S51 especially, because we may need him. I forgot to switch. Silly me. Oh no! That was a wild encounter with a Pokemon we haven't caught. Stupid man. Stupid man. Stupid man. So, no encounter on uh, Route 15. What a shame. Uh, it's only a water dark type. I'd, uh, I'd have survived. Probably wouldn't have used it anyway. But. Leave your light. That's cool. Uh. What an idiot. What's going on here? I don't like it. Uh, Thunderbolt to Floatzel's face, and then we are going to 
Uh, slash spawnery. Ah ha ha ha! Ooh! Oh, so very close. Okay, floor cells down. Bug bite, that's fine. We're good. Blue blood rock. Do I still have... Oh, I don't have... Urgh. Okay, get rid of Spawnery. I'm very sorry about the Tubjo. Um... A good job I noticed though at the end, otherwise... I'd have caught one later on. And then I would have... If anybody is uh, actually paying attention more than I am, they may have realised and told me off. Ugh. I don't feel like I'm talking. Oh, what are you doing? having a little tantrum. I don't like it. What's going on here? Don't freeze me. Right, what can I do about this? Uh, what does coconut milk do? The other game's lagging today. Um, do I have that carrot wine? Is that something? Fury status effects and heals 100. That's what I want. I'm uh, being a little bit risky here and I'm not sure I like it. I thought he was using a leaf blade on my electroxor then, and I was a little bit nervous. You can use grass moves on Pajay as much as you like. And he's absolutely fine. Do I want to learn gyro ball? I don't. I don't. I just. I just don't. I like moves with set amount of damage. Moves like gyro ball and heat crash and heavy slam, where it depends on the weight or the speed. Can't be bothered. Just give me Iron Head, or I'm trying to think of a good physical fire move, because there's Flare Blitz, but I don't like that because you get recoil damage. What's a good physical fire move apart from Flame Charge, because that's, that's only good if you're needing the um, speed boost. Going to J. I think this is just a fighting type. It looks like it's just a fighting type. So it should be just a fighting type. Or Earth Slash, maybe get the flinch, 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 maybe get the flinch. Ha 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 ha! Feel like a genius. Infuriate. What does that do? Attack Rose. 
Alrighty then. What's a Falaga? What's a Falaga? We're going Fire Rocky. Because I don't know what a Falaga is. Oh, I do know what a Falaga is. I've not seen one before. But it's that evolution of the... That one that kept joining us. And I'm not... It's like a, a slack off, isn't it? This guy's asleep already. I'm guessing he's strong. The Slarking is strong. His Lumberry was burned up. That's cool. I feel something very dark and dangerous is about to happen. But if we use if we lose Fire Rocket, it's not the worst one to lose, I suppose. <sighs> okay. Because I do have the other fire type that I like. And we do have two fire types in the team, so I don't necessarily need another fire type. Bariet. Bariet. Tempted to go into mine, but not worth it. Let's just go into Pajay. Uh, slash this bad boy. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. That's not a flinch. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Thank you. <sighs> right. This episode's heating up a little bit. I'm getting a little bit more tense. I've done one thing stupid. Um, when I lost my tub jaw, lost the encounter, the route, I had... <laughs> had a, a miniature tantrum. When... My electric saw got frozen. Let's just go for the carrot wines. Um, Pajay. Fire Rocky. Okay. S51's catching up you know, quite quickly, though. That's quite good. Yeah, see? There's no Pokeball in that top left corner. I could have caught a tub jaw. What an idiot. If I see it first on another encounter, on another route, can I catch it then? Or am I still bound because I've failed it this time? I'm not sure that's how it works. I just went I just went through that guy. Fact. Shrimp putty can shoot bursts of boiling hot water out of their clothes, and I'm guessing you have a shrimp putty. You don't. You have a daikachuna? A daikachuna? <laughs> Done. Do you have a shrimp putty? You have a titan ice. Fine. I think it's still a water type. I don't think it's pure ice. I think it's pure ice. Because that did not a lot. I did less than I hoped it would, actually. Scold it. And that picks up the kill. Okay. So, you talk about shrimp putty, but you don't use shrimp putty. Fire and water is an interesting type combination. You'd think those two elements would be incompatible. But well, we've seen with um, Volcanion. Is it Volcanion? That fire and water works okay. 
So there are fire and water type Pokemon in this game. Keep an eye out for that. Oh, hello. Swimming is the best thing you can do to stay in shape. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can... Oh, I like this one. I think it's a little cutie. I do. It's a little cutie pie. Oh, little thing. Little thing. I'm going to thunderbolt you in the head. Bye-bye. Hmm. Running out of thunderbolts. Running out of thunderbolts. Running out of Thunderbolts today. What's going on here? What's going on here? Not have survived that, Vaporeon. You are bulkier than you look. You got the power. I got the power. What's a siren turd? That'll be the evolution of that cell kid that I like. Cell kid's really cute. A little bit disappointed with how it turns out. If this is what it turns into, I'm assuming that it does turn into this. Let me know what you think. Apart from Elec Truxo, what's your favourite water type that you've seen so far? Oh, we're in Silverport Town. We have made it through. And I'm really tempted to carry on. But we are half an hour in, and it's going to have to wait until next week. And I have to wait as much as you do, I'm afraid. Um, well, unless you're like watching this in five years' time, then I guess you don't. Click on the next episode. <laughs> um, but we'll leave it here. Uh, S15, S15, Route 15, I got through unscathed. S51 has gained up to level 37. We're leveling up nicely. Missed out on catching a new Pokemon. That's my bad. I'm sorry about that. Let's forget about it. It's in the past. Move on. Okay. Okay. So we're in what? Where are we? Silverport Town. And we will continue this next week. Um, let me know what your favourite water type is so far. That's not Electrux so Big original. Come on, guys. And I will see you next week. Thank you very much for watching. I am Mr. Shinx3. Class dismissed. <laughs>